In this video, we're gonna be discussing five interesting facts you might not know about cat truck engines. To start us off with number one, we have the brown cat. Now, nearly universally, since cat's been making diesel engines, they've been using one color, and that color is cat yellow. Whether it's a little engine in a truck or a huge generator engine, whether it's in an RV, a boat, or a piece of machinery, got one color, and that was cat yellow. The only difference I could ever find, though, was on Freightliner 3126s, they came as brown. All 3126s in the FL series trucks were brown. This does not apply, however, to their heavy duty engines made in the same production years. Kind of a weird fact. The next one we're gonna talk about is the Crooked Cat. Now cat engines, nearly like all truck engines, are typically installed vertically straight meaning there's no left or right tilt to them. However, they are usually tilted slightly back to allow better oil drainage and to allow slightly more room for the transmission and engine under the cab of the truck. Sterling had a problem though. They used a wide variety of engines and engine sizes and some people ordered 3406s or C15s in their trucks. The problem they had was the hood actually wouldn't close or fit in the cab cavity for the large and tall cat engines. What was Sterling's fix? They actually tilted the engine slightly to the right several degrees. You can really tell by looking at the proximity of the turbocharger to the frame rail here. If you ever open the hood on a Sterling and see that the engine's crooked, you're gonna be looking at a cat C15. Which gets us to our next one, which is number three, the cat's bite. Now, if you've ever had a check engine light that keeps coming on and coming off, you might notice that it stops counting in the engine ECM at 255 counts. Now, why this weird number 255? Why not 100? Why not 1,000? Well, it all ties in with the binary code. And the binary code is basically a zero or a one, which is how commu computers communicate. For example, a zero or a one is one bit. Eight of them in a string is one byte. One byte has 256 possible combinations, which is two to the eighth power. And for example, 00001 is one combination, 00010 is another. 256 variables of that. That is how your ECM stores the count with one single byte. Which brings us to number four, which is the electric cat. Now, Starting in the mid 90s when Caterpillar started using electronics on their engine, they went to a nearly universal pin and socket design on their wiring. Now they only use, for the most part, Deutsch and Amseal connectors. And with those connectors, you only have a single style pin or socket, a male or a female. Unlike most of their competitors, which unfortunately do not do this and use a variety of flats, rounds, square connectors, it really makes it tricky. Cat was quite ahead of the game on this in using a single style. Now it was not completely universal. Their timing sensors on some of their engines, for example, do not use a Deutsch. Neither do their injectors or their intake valve actuators or their compression brake, AKA Jake's use this style. However, nearly all the other sensors do. Which brings us to our fifth and final, a thousand ways to name a cat. Now over the years working in cat dealership shops, it's been rumored that some of the famous engines that cat has used their serial number designations, such as 5EK, 6NZ, or possibly KCB, were actually named either after the engineers working on the engines or their families or known employees to them. Now this has only ever been a rumor, however, an article from Caterpillar themselves about a year ago came out discussing how they're naming a tractor after a longtime engineer. And with that, it's probably safe to assume that that was not the first time in the company's long history to have done that. Thanks for watching the video.